In the last episode, we probably lost, I think, a shapeshifter. This could be a shapeshifter's place. So, uh, this is Christmas and what have we done? And let's play the Guild of Dungeoneering. Sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, we defeated the, uh, I think, the gem of, or the sapphire of Tlaloc. And went into this uh, very, very... Uh, Happy looking place. And I think the uh, parrot there kinda got us killed. So let's try the yodel again. Mostly because I totally forgot what this entire scenario was all about. I also just uploaded the uh, Settlers 2 episode for today, it's currently Saturday. And apparently YouTube decided that this was um, not suitable for most advertisers. I'm not entirely sure why that would be. But uh, I guess we don't argue with YouTube anymore. Okay. Yikes. That's gonna hurt. <sighs> Ooh, that hurts. Perhaps get uh, more health? Sadly, it means I have to drop on the Yolo card. Why does he have all those good cards? Uh. We perhaps not see that again. Mm, okay, we need more help. I did not get quick, sadly. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't think the Yodler will survive this. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a real shame. Uh, okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, we need to get more physical defense for now. Yeah, we lost the shapeshifter last time. Uh, well, let's go exploring. I want to kill this damn parrot. Uh, yeah, let's let's go with this new witch because I think she'd do well against a flaming parrot. So yeah. YouTube deemed uh, my video is not so performance performance advertised. If you want to have a look and uh, see for yourself and maybe tell me what exactly is not suitable for advertisers there, go ahead and tell me because I literally don't know. That and you have an oarsman as well. Oarsman for everybody. And every parrot. Uh, let's let's not do that. Ew. I think it's a good idea to take him down one by one. Damn, do I have a card that does three damage? Okay, we need something quick now. Uh, that went too. <laughs> Good 
could have tried to draw a card here, but I think I just made a mistake by picking the Snow Witch. Despite saying I need something with physical defense. Uh, yeah. That was kind of a waste. Yeah, let's let's try this again. With uh, I think the shapeshifter is a good idea here. Too many burning parrots. I'm not sure if this note actually has a quick card, so I'm not sure if uh, using my favor there would have sorted anything. But I didn't have any. Okay, that kind of sucks. We now have a. Uh... Okay, let's let's get me some of those monkeys and this, and I'll not build that fountain because it's uh, it would be a dead end. Although had we gotten the monkey, I think we would have done a lot better in the last uh, attempt as well. There we go. Let's sort that out quite nicely. And we got a bunch of rubbish. I guess I'll go with the stool. Just because of repel. Eight, and uh, you can have a cranky parrot there. And then we'll put another corridor in. Now we don't get any favor with the fates because we don't fight there. We might fight there on the way back. That. And you can have a pirate. And of course we start off with the stupidity card right off the bat. Go with that. Oi! Yeah, can try that. Do anything for you. Uh, let's go with... I think the sash would be. I mean, the bar quest is kind of nice because we could be tenacious. It'll give us another stupidity card, which I don't really want. And having something quick is, I think, a good call. Ah, okay, that's, that's not good. Those. We need to fight the sea monkey, you need to fight the buccaneer. And I guess we'll need more runes of the fates. Ugh. At least he didn't get the restore. Which I'll use now. <clears throat> um, okay, thank you. Yeah, we can't block that, so no need to waste a <laughs> blocking card. That also feels like a waste of a good block, so let's not do that. Why can't I have that card? <coughs> I've never seen that in, in any uh, piece of equipment. I think it would be nice to have. Just regenerate. And there we go. Battle over. Sorry, my desk is creaking. 
What's that fan? Let's get four. Not too much. Nope. Uh, we'll take the frozen peas. Okay, level 3. We are level 3 now. Can not fight a cranky parrot? Or a pirate? Um, I'll try the parrot. You'll try the pirate. And we'll just add another corridor with a rune. Um... Let's not take that damage. Okay, and let's just... Uh, let's rejuvenate. I mean, that's three health, that's something to frown on. And since you're not really limited by your um, by your maximum health, I think it's it's always a good idea to heal. Will I lose health if I use that? Let's try it. I will. Wonderful. Good to know. We've learned something. So do not use Rejuvenate if you actually have more than 6 health. Uh, well, I had to try it, you know. Not sure it actually keeps a maximum amount of, of health here because it's... I mean, the maximum is kind of pointless. I guess I'll take the sword. The blessed would also be great. We'd lose repel and stupidity. Actually, I'll take that because we have a lot of healing abilities. Okay, that rune, I think we can write that off quite safely. Let's fight another cranky parrot. And uh, get the rest of our gear upgraded. Okay, yeah. Another rune. I'm trying to keep only one of those uh, crewmates on the screen at the same time. We don't want to block any things, or we don't want him to block any things, so I guess I'll have to raise my bark skin here. Let's, let's draw a card now. And hit him. That's where Blessed really uh, shines. Look at that, we get two health for that now. How much health can I get? Is there a, is there a cap? Uh, probably not see that because we're going to lose some health now. It would be interesting to see. I get three rows of hearts here. Yikes. Probably not. My guess would be probably not. I think I can try to steal, but it won't do any good. Okay, we can deal with cranky parrots. Can we fight burning ones as well? That's the big question here. Just for the sake of security, we'll probably take the broken bottle because it gives me some uh, magical block as well. I believe the Flaming Parrot will have some magic attacks. It has Flame 4, which is horrible. Okay, fight this. We'll have to fight that. I think we'll go back. I think we're ready to fight. Ooh, that hurts. We actually get all of that health back, but still, <laughs> it hurt. Uh, that's shit. I think there's also... I mean, that there's a... Uh, there's one of those fountains that actually gives you... Um, actually gives you... 
double the amount of blocking, so I, I don't know if there's a card that actually has a save. Would be nice to have. Um. Let's end this battle before something horrible happens. I want to hold on to that. He would get a snowman body, which probably would do well against a flaming parrot, but uh, afraid I'll just want to keep the inner up there, so we'll have to just take some gold. Even though the sash is probably one of our lowest level items. Uh, no, let's let's just take some gold. Okay, you can have that. We'll fight another cranky parrot. And I guess another pirate. Okay, here goes. Pirate will attack us next turn, so uh, that will kind of suck. I think we'll start off by regenerating a bit. I mean, it would have been nice to do now, but let's just let's just get all of the health in uh, while we can. You're not blocking anything, my friend. More health. I want all the health I can get. Okay, one more big heal. That'll do. Can we get a third row? Yes, we can. Oh, no, it's okay. You get this down. I just wanted to see that. See a little plus sign. That's kind of smart, actually. I like that. Okay, we've learned something today. So that was so worth it. Totally. Also had 17 minutes, but I feel like playing a bit more. So let's let's just shift. Okay, nope. That would be nice to have. Or the ice fishing pole. Now oh, we'll take the winged staff. I mean it gives us essentially the same as interrupt, minus the one damage. But we get a multifunctional block and some magic defense. So I think that's a good idea. And he goes for us now. Let's see if that was a good idea or not. We should actually be better suited against this guy now. <sighs> we still have shift and stuff, so let's do that. Does he get? Okay, so if we get him uh, killed in one go, I think Ram will not trigger. Let me hold on to that. Actually, no, I won't. Let's use that. The earlier we use it, the earlier it gets uh, recycled. Actually, not, not necessarily, but uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's use that just. Uh, what gets discarded. Sadly, he took the rekindle. Uh, let's not use that. I don't think he has any uh, magic attacks. We can't see his perks right now, can we? No. Um, let's try this first. I believe we'll get him down to zero now, and Rum will not That's a way to circumvent the rum. Lose a lot of stuff. We can lose that and gain that. Ooh, divine shield would be nice, but I I really like this this one uh, to all healing. Then again, blocking all magic damage might be a good move. So let's let's take that. Even though I hate to lose the blessing. One more fight, so uh, we can. One, let's go with one more buccaneer. We 
which, by the way, I think is, uh, I've read that once, is derived from the word bukan, which is kind of dried meat, so uh, that's your bit of uh, useless knowledge for today. And I already missed the blessing. <laughs> I already miss it. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna get fun. Uh, let's regenerate that. Lock it, hit him. Okay, he now has Fury. But we have this, which is just as good. Ouch. We'll block as much of that as possible. Um, heal a bit, I guess. Probably would have been a better idea to draw another card. Actually, you don't. Okay, we're about as well equipped as we can be with our wonderful. Uh, Nope. Nope. We'll just take some gold. Not that it helped as much, but I, I think it would have been worse to lose all that stuff. Oh wow! I didn't. I didn't uh, remember we had burning going on. I suppose the blessing would have been a really good idea to keep. But we have a lot of healing, so if we can just out heal him. Now we should have more health than he has, so uh, we can just sit it out now. Especially if we keep doing this. There we go. And both of us will burn down now. There we go. All the burning. Oh, great. This used to be a peaceful land. So, now we have a gullible shapeshifter. That's uh now what you've planned. Just some of the greatest traits ever. Okay, let's try the uh, second or the third rather, second for this episode. The third phase of this. Apparently the uh, boss is after my parrots. We'll try the Yodel again, because I really like this class. Although we get a few very, very amazing uh, new classes in just a bit. Thank you for catching all those parrots, chum. They'll make a fine feast for the crew. Okay, rescue the drunken sailor. Oh, over there. What? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Apparently we'll rescue him. And of course we'll fight an oarsman to begin with. I really don't want to, so let's let's perhaps not. Um instead actually no, let's let's not build that either, because this guy is aggressive, so he will come to charge us have to fight. We'll have to fight, sadly. Go with this. Ah, nice. Actually, sort this out for us. Okay, let's not use that. Um, guess I'll go with the troll femur. Gives us some blocking. Not much, but some blocking. Okay, let's have a run of the fates 
here. Ore's been there. Uh, let's add a cranky parrot right there. Because I really don't want this buccaneer to head towards us. And I should have probably gone like the lower road. Um. Sadly, we can only really do this. At least it gets this card back into uh, thing. So now we can start recycling and hope for the next yodel, which we totally didn't get. Um, let's lock some of that. Actually, no, let's rekindle. But oh, damn, we're still triggered fury. Um, block some of that, please. And now we can just yodel it up. Not that we needed to. Okay. Nope. Nope. Why do all of those suck? Um, I gained one health. That's ahead. Ah, I'll take the Holy Seal. It's not a great card, mind you, but it's at least it's something. Look at crewmate. Let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's not go this way. Let's let's hope we can survive this parrot. So a bit underleveled for it. We might still pull it off though. It's uh, there's a chance, although uh, this doesn't look this doesn't look very good. I was hoping we'd start with at least one yodel. Which could have uh, gotten leveled up now. Oh, well, we just got a yodel, and one of those was leveled up. The other one was not. Ah. Uh, so let's just play this card here. Uh, let's play. Ugh. Okay, I would like to draw a card now. That's actually the most useful card we could get here. I guess. And we really need more health now. Let's not burn that card because it's uh, very useful for us to ha uh, to keep him with this card. Successful still one card. I don't like this idea. I'll have to at least block one of those. And he nicked one of our yodels. Just great. Just great. I need to do some damage now. You little git. I wish I had played this one more time. I wish I'd played this one more time so it would have been quick. A sorry tale, a gory story, another hero dies for glory. In the ground they rest the head. Dead, dead, dead. <sighs> I'm also totally starving right now. Okay, try this again with, I guess, another character. Not the chump, not the cat burglar. And the ice cream monk again. Or a ranger. Let's send a ranger in. We also get a new class here, the drunken sailor, which is, I don't think, the 
best class in this expansion. It's kind of cool they give you those uh, additional classes regardless. Okay, yeah, we've been there. Um, have to go there. Do this and uh, maybe some more of this kind of come place. Okay. Uh, sadly, that's all we can do. I mean, I guess a corridor here. Really wanted to. Okay, you should probably not block anything. All of the things are quick, okay. Just had to read up on what exactly this did for us. That's camouflage, actually. I if there was a kind of charging skills. Let's camouflage once more. And let's finish it. Teehee. The yeah, Ranger is one of the uh, classes I feel are always a bit overpowered. Even though it's hard to be overpowered in this game because there's always something more powerful and you can always have a, a really a streak of really bad luck. Not one, of, none of those. Um, let's go this way. I don't want to place any buccaneers because this will mean this guy will get stronger. Okay, he's not telling us where the ship is. That's a bummer. Could we at least get a pathway there now? One, two, three, four, five. We'll be fine. Cabin boy and I guess another cabin boy. All those crewmates. They are mundane. That. <coughs> I mean, this battle, sh uh, battle shouldn't be too hard. Take one more damage from magic attacks. We'll use that. Um, it's a flame arrow. It's apparently very magic. Magical, rather. I wish that would actually carry over into the next battle here. This uh, bonus damage. Ooh, nice. Um, let's not use that. We'll take the Balaclava. Now we look like a proper ranger. You'll never find it. Just hand me a parrot and we'll call it even. No, uh, my parrots. Yeah, I don't want them either, but uh, they're mine now. Also, let's. Yeah, I can't put that there, sadly. I would have hoped we uh, could lure in the uh, Buccaneer as well. I kept this for level 3 fights. Although if I don't get one now, I'll just use whatever I can find. Or we can safely tank that damage. Use our blocking here. And now for the glorious finale. Unnecessarily cruel, actually. <laughs> Could get another of those. Uh, nope. I'll take the answer. The anchor, rather. Uh, okay, that's a gunner. Gunners suck. We don't want to fight gunners. At least I don't want to fight them. Because they are spiky and they have rum, and they do a lot of damage. So, fighting a gunner is always quite a risk. 
Ow! Let's not take all of that damage. We'll do an extra damage for that. Because we are, in fact, quick. Let's not take that. And thank you, we're done there. That'd be nice. I think we'll take that. Or that. I would guess the chef is more in the uh, physical damage department, so we'll take the uh, frost armor. He has flame too, which is uh, kind of annoying. And that buccaneer won't catch up with us. No, thank you. Some of that. One of my favorite clowns later has the uh, has a trait where he gains actually one damage every round. He does not take any damage, and you can build up quite a lot of uh, attack with that. It's, it's really cool. Also, I forgot he will now drum. Luckily, it only works once. Tenacious is a bit better because it, it keeps letting you. Uh, uh, not to die as long as you manage to heal some health every turn. Or as long as you stay above the... Well, that's rubbish. Take some gold. Okay, Joe will attack in three turns. Gold is a paradise, see? Um, there is very little point in being here early, it seems. But we'll just uh, hit him anyway. He has Fury, so we probably want to build up some damage while we can. Oh wow, he gains one de health back every turn we don't deal damage to him. That's lovely to know, isn't it? Don't think he has any stupidity cards. Ow! Why would you do that? Need more cards. Okay, that does one per block, so let's not have him block anything. I mean, this spell is not too hard, really. It's just uh, on the more annoying side. Although, yeah, with the ranger and, and him being quick. Alright, he has rum. How? That's uh, unhealthy. It's kind of nice that you don't have to keep any quick cards as a backup. Because we can now just use this and uh, still secure the win. Now showing off is quite a bore and certainly not becoming. What we have Ooh, cool. here next in store will surely have you running. So we've got a lot of uh, buildings and we've got a poop deck, which uh, allows us to uh, recruit the drunken sailor, which we'll probably take for a spin right now. And we might also have about 500 gold, which I don't think will give us any more buildings, because I think the next one will be at a thousand. Put that um, I guess here. Yeah. With the yo 
ho ho and a bottle of rum. They stand there shouting and swaying. No one knows whether it's clever or dumb. But what the drunken sailor is saying. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, that's uh Oh, what's that? Dungeoneers. Let's check his skills quickly. So we can do squinty eyes, we can do clumsy ja uh, jabs, we have the rum trade, but we can do a reckless swing. And we can fall over for two a physical block. Wonderful. Uh, let's expand the guild. Can we... we can get the uh, Idol of the Warrior. And those are all for 2,000, so we'll buy that and then we'll not expand the guild any further. Uh, let's go exploring. So yeah, this is the uh, parody stuff. This is all the regular um, Act 2 bit, which we will get into after the parody bit. Because I feel like doing that first. And we did it here as well. Grasslands and this bit here. Actually, we didn't finish that. Damn. <laughs> okay, I totally forgot that. Let's actually enter that. I was wondering why it didn't show us the uh, finished thing. Well, let's send a drunken sailor in there. He'll probably die. He will probably die horribly. I think we've done this bit before. The monk defenders. Well, let's fight this one first. Ice cream monk. Ice cream monk. Oh, they're aggressive. That uh, doesn't really help us. So we'll do the squinty eye. Oh, it does two damage. I, th I thought it would it really do one damage and only add one for the next attack. Actually, we'll do that again. Yeah, you picked the wrong card, my friend. Should have grabbed that one. Look at all that damage. Ow. Okay, we don't really need magical damage, but we need more defense. So, I guess I'll take the twig. Oh wow, well, they're all aggressive. That's good to know. Let's do some squinty eye again. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Before it was cool. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we got this. Uh, we might need a, a modicum of a magic defense. Can we get any of that? I guess I'll take the Holy Seal. That drunken sailor is trying to melt the ice cream. Stop them! He is indeed. Uh, let's not fight a keeper of the cones. And while it would be tempting to add this corridor here, I think this guy is... Oh, he's not aggressive, so uh, we'll put that here. No, he's not. He is. Okay, we'll have to lure our, our, our dungeon here over there. Mix Master. Uh, will not hurt us. I guess some more healing would also not go amiss, because we do have a lot of stuff that damages us. Although I guess uh, not making the battles uh, too long also helps quite a lot. Nope. Ooh, that's very piratey as well. Let's take that. I 
thought you were our friend. Oh yeah, we definitely had this one before. Scuba Troop. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Uh, is this guy aggressive? No. Keep working and do this as well. And then we at least have all the pathways sorted out for us. Gunnery 3. Don't want to risk that. I'm quite sure I shouldn't, but uh, <laughs> it's just too silly. I'll, I'll go for it. I mean, I kind of have to cut this episode anyway, so if we die here, that's fine. Ooh, he starts off strong with an icicle. Ugh. Have some of that. Don't steal my rekindle. Get. Yeah, that freezing is really, really hard. Okay, we got two health back now. Thanks to the... Oh, wow. That's not quite working in our favor. This will kill us, so this will not do anything. I have one favor, let's use it. Come on, use that favor. Okay, this actually saves us a bit. There we go, now we can wreck the stream. Who Doom played? Yes, please. So exactly one damage will be prevented now. Do I have to get away from there in time? I wonder. And can we handle another one of those? I think we can. I think we kind of have to. Be quite uh, honest with you. I'm not, I didn't place it here because we'd have wasted a turn then. We don't have to worry about that actually because we have the uh, Doom Plate. Okay, so if I block this. Yeah. Doom Plate and Spiky are probably rather annoying traits. <laughs> <laughs> Make a selfie, mate. <laughs> uh. And we'll take those three health. And a bit extra. We should totally get one of those... Um, uh, one of those ferocious traits as well. Rather you not steal that. We also seem to have a different scoop cards for everybody, which is kind of nice. Also, we can finally not get frozen for once. I totally didn't need to block that, actually. I did not need to block that at all. It's reloading. Let's do the same. Just better. It keeps getting reloaded and shoot in a rather quick succession, but doesn't really matter to us because we have this. I actually had a few uh, gunners with uh, reload. Like they had several reloads in a in a row, and then they shot, and it's unblockable, so it's, it's pretty much insta kill. Nope. Nope. Yeah, we'll take that for now. Here and that one. That's fine. OK, 
Okay, that will not do anything to us, so we'll just uh, squinty eye it. Doom plate is really powerful. We'll squinty eye again. Look at all the damage we're doing now. And now we'll have to hit him. The clumsy left jab that still did an amazing amount of damage. Can't do anything about that, sadly. So we'll have to take that. And that. I wonder if it would also go for unblockable attacks. At least we can some help back. Like if this uh, bulwark would also prevent unblockable damage. Plenty of cards with uh, unblockable and only one damage. Fall over. Which has saved the day again. Very nice. Could get a better hat. I yeah, will take the. Uh, we'll take the better hat. Well, I say better. We lose two health, but it's. I think it's a better hat. Very right, snazzy as well. Let's put defend here. Okay. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Or that. Just slice. Tee hee. <laughs> I love the Doom Plate. But we'll also block that. Artisanal attack beaten by falling over. Sometimes it's the easiest thing to have them, or the smallest things that have the most effect. With that spike, you really get them. But yeah, Doom Plate and Spiky is like a, quite a killer combination. Especially, it, it keeps all those, uh, those, those stealing cards away from us, which is really, really cool. Actually, like Fleet, Fleet Footed and uh, the Holy Seal, so. Sair Spoon. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. We will not lose. Uh, just notice that. We will lose the Doom Plate effect there. Oh no, there, we would not lose it. Uh, I thought there was a bit of, it's, it's just the explanation for the Holy Seal. Still, I would prefer to keep that, so uh, we'll just take the good one. And put it right there. There's again one more favor with the fates, so uh, that might save our butts in just a moment. We don't have any uh, really high damage attacks, but we, we do get a fair amount of uh, mileage from the ones we have. What we have, because <laughs> because it's Quinty Eye. And because we just also take very, very little damage. I mean, that really helps, because it also gives us this, this one uh, spiky damage every time. I have to interrupt that, sadly. I say sadly. At least we can interrupt it. Um, let's do this with the eye. Charge as much damage as I can. Just block all of that. We'll have none of that. I could have just used the uh, follow if I had had it. I'm gonna keep that for the next round. There is no next round. That works too. Ooh. 
Yes, please. Brace is uh, just such a great attack. Though haste would also be nice. All the options here. Um, we'll go with the spear. It's not really a drunken sailor-ish, but uh, at least it does a, it does a job. Gem over there. And next round. That got it surprisingly well. I was kind of expecting him to, to get killed right off the bat. But he did well, and uh, probably probably also because we just gave him a pretty decent kit. I mean, he got a spear and a, a doom plate, so he'd probably be more equipped uh, like a uh, like a guard. Uh, minus the parrot, he would actually look like some kind of fancy uh, city guard now. Probably a male koi or something uh, on the head, but still. Equipment is very, very godlike. Full plate. I mean, I'm, I'm not uh, an expert on historical stuff, so uh, probably would not see those in actual medieval times, but still. And yeah, the uh, bulwark even triggers if you have uh, if you only block most of the damage, which is really, really cool. And more damage. I love that. I absolutely love it. Um, and that's hit him. <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, we'll actually sell that for three gold. Because that will be... Uh, I think it will be... Oh, we have to get there now. Could have told me. Thought that was all, although I guess I could have figured out that you as well. Let's add a scooper trooper and a uh, cones there. Boom. We'll both heal and we'll end the level after this uh, fight. I don't know if that would mean I would, um, if, if this, this will actually make the bulwark not trigger, so I'll not risk it. Because it would take more than one damage. And the game seems to be somewhat exact in that regard. Um, don't have to worry about that. Let's, let's try that. Yeah, if we if we take more than one damage, even self-inflicted damage, we will lose that health. I find it always a good idea to try such things when you can do so in reasonable safety. That's really annoying. shouldn't have to. And there we go. There is the kill. <coughs> Could get an owl familiar, but it's I think the parrot is better. Let's grab a sword, which would not be the greatest choice here. Nope. We'll just take the goat. Dump something over there. I think we're reasonably well equipped for that. Even though we won't do any damage here, we won't take any either. Actually, we will deal one damage. Because spiky. Nope. This is so amazing. I imagine we had a card that, or we had a trade that actually dealt more damage if we, uh, um, if the enemy took a certain amount of damage in one turn. Haste that. I do not want to be frozen. Thank you. Though. Um, I want to be quick then. 
We want to have more cards. Yeah. Let's do something reckless. So you can actually have all your, your deck in your hand. Let's try that. Actually, we'll not get to that point. Ow! Oh well, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, nope. 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 Thank you, we'll just take the code. I know I could have tried to grind a lot more gold here, but that didn't want to. <sighs> okay, that was nice. Fear. And how long before you're in your grave? Yeah, level 4 cards are indeed epic. But not as epic as Doom Plate. Which uh, has a surprising discrepancy of uh, odds of survival on the in and outside. <clears throat> anyway, that was a... Uh, Successful episode, minus the first uh, few blunders in the uh, Parrot Dungeon. But uh, yeah, overall we did quite good. We gained a new Dungeoneer, we uh, gained three more dungeons. We found out that we did not quite finish the ice cream thing yet. Um, but I think the Drunken Sailor is on the case. He'll have a splitting headache after that. And yeah, next time we'll probably finish the ice cream thing for good. <laughs> Maybe even get another class. And yeah, I mean, I mean to, to be fair, it did appear to be uh, part of this. At least to me, it, it did. Because, I mean, those, those pictures are similar size. I could have tried it, but still. Oh well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so next time we'll go back to this, and then we should probably... I think this is the last dungeon, maybe one more. Perhaps over here. I don't think that would be the case. And uh, yeah. I think we're good. The boss rematch, we, we might do that as a last episode or something. But for now, I'm gonna sign off. I did two hours of recording today, and we got two videos out of it. <laughs> uh, and now I really have to get something to eat. <laughs> so, I'll see you all next week. Bye.